Right, so this is the home screen of the Agora Smart TV adapter. Here is our controller with the trackpad. See the mouse moving on the screen? And this is the home screen. So in the on the right hand side we've put in a couple of widgets of Facebook feed and Twitter feed. Now if we go to settings and I'm just going to tap the control pad just like a, a mouse and that will go to the settings menu very much like an Android tablet. Now I'm going to go back to two options. I can press the escape or back button or I can press the home button just by my thumb. This one just there. That will take us back to this page. Uh, just going through the menu, we've got apps at the top, click, can scroll through the apps. Now tip for all scrolling on this device, you can either press the mouse button on the right hand side or just next to the screen, and then scroll the mouse. So to get the, the scrolling like you would on a touch screen tablet, just click the mouse button and then scroll the trackpad. Cool, so now we'll test out a couple of things. Just going to open up Facebook quickly, just for a quick snapshot. Opens a mobile browser version of Facebook. Cool, and going to go back, and then Google Play to download apps, and movies, and other content. It's loading up and preview now same trick to scroll sideways click the mouse and scroll just to get the the swipe action like on a, a tablet bring up list of apps scroll through oops try to get right across so it flicks through and angry birds we want to download angry birds don't know how it'll work but we've so we've done the download, press on install, let that run in the background. So very much like tablet Android. Now I press the home button, we'll let that load up. I'm going to test out a couple of other things. Go to browser and going to click on CNN just to check out what's new with CNN can scroll through the news and of course we can check out the Gadget Coach homepage as well. So full web browser doesn't bring up the mobile versions, which is cool. Scroll through, can content there, hover the mouse over drop down menus to see more content. Back to home. Cool, and you can browse through video and music. We haven't preloaded anything on at this point, but it's a video and music browser. And there's something else that's going to show YouTube. So just browsing videos on your TV. Open up. We've logged into our YouTube channel here, so should come up. The, some subscriptions and some other things there, some other tech information of course and we'll have a quick snapshot at uploads so the speed's relatively good for loading pages just dependent on your connection of course as part of the first setup I connected it to Wi-Fi on the very first screens be photos on the review and this should load our latest video. It's just buffering. Man, it consumes tablets that are too hard to swallow. Good morning to you, Nathan. I actually have a tablet swallowing issue. <laughs> So that's just a bit of audio from a recent radio segment, and so that's the YouTube option. Um, other options on here, maps, uh, off
Office Suite for browsing, file browser, you can view your email. Let's have a quick look at Angry Birds, it's downloaded. This is not pre-tested. This could be interesting. Playing games on a full screen TV. Talk amongst yourselves while it's loading. There we go. We love the Angry Birds music. Yes, power up bundles received. Gotta love that. Let's play. Oh no, where is he gone? Right, we're gonna test out with the trackpad how this will work. We're assuming it's gonna be a click and a drag type option. This is not pre-tested, so see how we go. Right. Press and drag and release. Oh, beautiful. Angry Birds works on your TV. Now, I think we're all going to go for that now. Cool. So that is just a basic look at the Kogan Agora Smart TV Adapter. Hope you enjoyed your preview.